This is Pantheon Mythology, and this the ultimate guide to Japanese yokai, part 2. In this video, we'll cover yokai, the strange supernatural creatures and phenomena from Japanese folklore, from letters D through H. If you missed part 1, which covers yokai from A to C, then you'll find a link below. Just quickly before we begin. If you love yourself some mythology and folklore, then head over to Pantheon Apparel. You'll find designs inspired by deities, beasts, and legends from across the mythos. We're rated excellent on Trustpilot and ship worldwide. Link in the description. Daidara bocchi are colossal humanoid beings resembling bald-headed priests with black skin, big eyes, and long tongues. They shape the landscape by moving mountains and leaving lakes and valleys in their footprints. Legends from across Japan attribute various landscapes, including Mount Fuji and lakes, to their actions. Daitengu are formidable, larger versions of Kotengu, avian like spirits known for their mischievous and sometimes malevolent behavior, resembling ascetic monks with red faces and elongated noses. They dwell in seclusion atop remote mountains focusing on self-improvement through meditation. While possessing great wisdom and power, they can be savage and unpredictable, sometimes causing natural disasters. However, they also exhibit self-restraint and have been known to aid worthy humans. Over time, they became revered figures in the mountain religion of Shugendo, with some humans seeking their wisdom and even receiving teachings and magical knowledge from them. Darky are fearsome female spirits that haunt the rocky islands of Saga Prefecture, preying on fishermen by draining their life force. They approach their victims under the guise of beggars asking for fish, then attack when close enough. Fishermen, aware of their danger, avoid tying their boats when cooking on islands to escape quickly if needed. Originating from Kakarashima Island, Daki are a local variant of Iso Ona, seaside yukai found across Japan. Legends recount fishermen outsmarting Daki by escaping on their boats when faced with their deceptive tactics. Dakini, also known as Dakiniten in Japan, is a revered goddess in Shingon Buddhism depicted as a beautiful half-nude woman riding a white fox. She symbolizes food, grain, and good fortune. In Japanese syncretism, she's linked with the kami Inari. Originally seen as wrathful demons in Buddhist cosmology, Darkini converted to Buddhism and gained powers to predict deaths. In China, they were linked to jackals, which in Japan became associated with foxes. Darkini worship involved secret rituals granting power, including control over kitsune. Legends like the Taira no Kiyomori showcase her influence, believed to bring luck and prosperity to worshippers. Tatsueba Kaneo are elder oni who guard the Sanzu River Bridge, where souls must pass to be judged in the underworld. Souls pay a toll, stripped of their clothes by Datsweber and assessed by the weight of their sins through hanging garments on a tree. They torment souls and are associated with King Enma, the ruler of hell. Temples dedicated to Datsweber were built during the Edo period for protection against disease. Denpachi Kitsune, a famous Kitsune from Lidaka, Chiba Prefecture, infiltrated a seminary disguised as a student named Enpachi and studied Nichiren Buddhism for ten years. Despite his diligent efforts, his disguise was eventually discovered during a drunken incident. However, impressed by his dedication, the headmaster forgave him, and Enpachi, revealing his true name as Konoha, became guardian spirit of the temple, known as Konoha Inari Daimyojin. Donotsura is a yokai depicted with a human-like body, but lacking a head, featuring oversized facial features on its torso, reflecting its name. Originating from yokai picture scrolls, its existence is marked by name and image only, with no accompanying tales. Its likely origin is a pun on the Japanese expression donotsura sagete, suggesting a scolding for inappropriate calmness by lowering one's face, akin to this yokai's facial placement. Dorotabo are vengeful spirits of old rice field labourers, angered by the neglect of their hard work after death. Rising from the mud at night with one eye and three fingers, symbolising vices, they haunt neglected fields. 
demanding justice. Their mournful cries disturb new occupants until the land is cared for or sold to more responsible owners. Their origin lies in the deep value of farmland in Japan and the disappointment of neglected legacies. An enra is a yokai formed of wisps of smoke rising from fires like bonfires. Human-like faces intermittently materialize within its smoke form. It floats gracefully, resembling delicate silk in the wind, and is soothing to observe. Originating from Toriyama Sekein's book Konjaku Hyaki Shui, it may symbolize spirits rising with smoke, especially suggested by its name similarity to Enma, the Lord of Hell. An Enra is said to manifest before those with calm and pure hearts and minds. Enko, river-dwelling yukai found in Shukoku and Chugoku regions resemble monkeys or kappa. They're the size of a three-year-old child with red faces, flexible limbs and sharp claws. Disguising as human women or dolls, they're repelled by metal objects and livestock. Enko are known for assaulting swimmers and extracting their livers through brutal means. Legends include instances of attacks and fearful encounters, like a woman abused by an Enko whose child bore its traits and was killed by villagers. Enmar Dayo is the ruler of hell and the foremost judge of the dead. Depicted in robes reminiscent of a Tang dynasty official, he is served by demonic assistants and is invoked by parents as a warning to their children. Enmar judges souls based on their deeds recorded in a scroll and oversees punishment in hell. Originating from the compassionate deity Jizo Bosatsu, Enma's role evolved from the Indian god Yama through Chinese Buddhism into Japanese folklore. Arita Togaramo is a yokai born from a Buddhist high priest's ceremonial kimono. Its appearance retains the form of priestly robes, but with a pointed collar resembling a nose and sprouted eyes and a beard, originating from the kimono worn by Sojobo, king of the Tengu, atop Mount Kurama, near Kyoto. Arita to Garamo's transformation occurred due to Sojobo's transition from human high priest to a powerful Tengu. Despite his Tengu nature, Sojobo continued to wear his priestly attire, leading to the kimono's yukai transformation. Furakaishi are spirits resembling Urei that remove protective charms called Fuda, allowing evil spirits to pass freely. Unable to touch the charms themselves, they manipulate humans into removing them through threats or promises. Their origins date back to ancient legends, with examples found in stories like The Tale of the Peony Lantern, where a ghost convinces a man to remove charms, leading to his demise. Fuguru Mayohi is a spirit resembling an ogreish woman, born from old-fashioned book carts called Fuguruma and fueled by the emotion and attachment stored in piles of love letters within these carts. Originating from Toriyama Sekeen's Sukomogami collection of literature, her name is a pun inspired by the folly of excessive possessions discussed in medieval essays. Fukuro Mujina are yokai that take the form of Mujina badges or tanuki, dressed as ancient noblewomen, complete with human clothes and makeup while carrying a large sack over their shoulder. Originating from Toriyama Sekeen's Hyaki Surezure Bukuro, a collection of supernatural creatures, they are likely haunted bags that assume the appearance of Mujina rather than Mujina themselves. Sekeen's creation is influenced by older yokai picture scrolls, and he cleverly inserts a pun into their description referencing a proverb, to price a badger in a hole, which means it's difficult to estimate the value of something you don't yet possess, akin to the English phrase to count your chickens before they are hatched. Funayure are vengeful sea ghosts, transformed from drowned sailors. They haunt the seas, appearing as eerie, luminescent mists that coalesce into ghostly ships. They attack by capsizing vessels or flooding them with seawater using ladles and buckets. Clever crews can outsmart them by using perforated buckets, sailing directly through the apparitions or offering food as distractions. Furaribi, a fiery creature resembling a bird with a dog-like face, haunts riverbanks at night. Originating from neglected souls, it drifts aimlessly to incomplete funeral rites. 
Legend tells of Sasa Narimaza, a samurai who murdered his concubine Sayuri and her family, cursing them to Rome as Furaribi. Calling Sayuri's name by the river summons her vengeful spirit, a chilling reminder of jealousy's consequences. Furi are mountain beasts originating from China, resembling a mix of tanuki and river otter with monkey-like features. Nocturnal and swift, they move with the wind, leaping from tree to tree or cliff to cliff effortlessly. Their diet includes spiders, incense tree wood, and sometimes birds, which they catch using a special grass as bait. Despite their speed, they can be captured with a net, but exhibit fragile behavior when caught, dying instantly if struck, but resisting cuts or burns. They possess a unique ability to revive from death when wind blows into their mouths, except if their skull is broken or their nose is stuffed with Japanese rush leaves. Originally described in Chinese herbology and medicine texts, they were incorporated into Japanese folklore during the Edo period, likely inspired by the kolugo, a gliding mammal native to Southeast Asia. Furo Ogi is a squat, hairy yokai, with a worn-out folding fan on its back. It's featured in early scrolls depicting the night parade of demons, but little is known about it beyond its appearance. Furutsu Baki no Rei In Japanese folklore, aged tsubaki trees, also known as Camellia japonica, are believed to develop yokai spirits with mysterious powers. Legends tell of encounters where these spirits bewitch or forewarn humans such as turning a man into a bee or emitting mournful cries before disasters. One tale, from the city Ogaki in Gifu Prefecture, speaks of a cursed burial mound where disturbing ancient artifacts led to death, prompting locals to plant a tsubaki tree atop it. As the tree aged, it transformed into a yokai, often appearing as a glowing figure of a young woman near the burial site. Furu Tsubo are quivers imbued with the spirits of archers who met tragic deaths. These quivers, along with other weapons, gain life force from the residual energies of their owners, enabling them to move independently. One notable Furutsubo belonged to Miura Yoshaiki, a brave warrior from the end of the Heian period, who fought for the Minamoto clan during the Genpei War. During a desperate siege, Yoshaiki valiantly defended his castle allowing the household to escape. He perished in the battle, and his cherished quiver, grieving the loss of its master, became a yokai. Futakuchi Ona are deceptive yokai, appearing as ordinary women until their horrifying secret is unveiled, a second mouth hidden beneath their hair, voracious and using hair-like tentacles to devour food. Legends attribute their existence to various origins, from shape-shifted spirits to cursed individuals punished for greed. One tale depicts a miser whose wife's secret mouth depletes their food supply, leading to his discovery and eventual escape. Another story features a wicked stepmother afflicted with a second mouth after neglecting her stepdaughter, haunted by the girl's hunger in death. Gargoze, a demon ghost, haunted Gangoji temples centuries ago appearing as a hideous demon dressed as a monk. Legend has it that during Emperor Bidatsu's reign, a boy with godlike strength raised by a peasant who aided a fallen thunder god was apprenticed to the temple. Mysterious deaths of young apprentices led the boy, known as Dojo, to confront the evil spirit. He captured the creature, revealed to be the ghost of a wicked servant, banishing it from the temple. Dojo, renowned for his strength, became a revered priest enshrined as a god of Gangoji upon his death. Gaki are tormented spirits residing in the desolate realm of Gakido, marked by constant hunger and thirst. Their distorted human-like forms feature bloated bellies and small, inadequate mouths. Their suffering varies based on past sins, with some unable to consume anything but blessed food, while others are confined to consuming filth. Buddhist rituals like sagaki aim to alleviate their anguish during the Obon season. In Buddhist cosmology, the Gaki realm is a realm of rebirth, resembling Jigoku, but with roaming suffering rather than confinement. Interestingly, 
Gaki is also a derogatory term for a child due to the perception of insatiable appetite. Gangi Kozo are hairy, monkey like water spirits living along riverbanks, hunting fish with their webbed hands and toes and sharp, jagged teeth. They're thought to be a transitional form of kappa, transforming from river fish to mountain spirits. Rarely seen, fishermen leave offerings of large fish when encountered. Little is known of them beyond Toriyama Sekien's records, possibly originating from legends of transforming water dwelling creatures known as kappa. The name Kangi Kozo reflects their habitat and sharp toothed mouths. Garapa are river spirits found in southern Japan, particularly on the islands of Kyushu. They are closely related to kappa but have longer limbs, making them taller and more slender. Garapa are shyer than kappa and tend to avoid populated areas, preferring to wander between rivers and mountains. They are known for their mischievous behaviour, often surprising people on mountain paths or tricking travellers. Despite this, Garapa are dedicated to keeping their word and can be persuaded to stop causing trouble through promises made by humans. Over time, their attacks have become less common as Shinto sects have worked to earn promises from them. Garapa are also credited with teaching ancient people the art of making poultices. Gashadokuro are massive, skeletal beings that roam silently in the night, known for their eerie noises and deadly attacks on humans. They originate from the souls of soldiers and famine victims who died without proper rights, their anger and pain manifesting into a vengeful force. Legends trace back over 1,000 years to a rebellion led by rebel leader Taira no Masakado's daughter, who summoned one to attack Kyoto using black magic. Goryo are vengeful ghosts of ancient warriors and nobles who met tragic deaths. They haunt their enemies, causing calamities like fires and wars. To pacify them, priests and onyoji practiced Goryo Shinko, meaning the religion of ghosts or the worship of vengeful spirits, transforming them into peaceful spirits. Gotoku Neko are yokai cats with two tails who wear an upside-down trivet on their heads like hats. The tips of their twin tails burn like torches. They are often found near fireplaces using bamboo pipes to stoke the flames. Originating from Toriyama Sekien's Hyaki Tsure Zure Bukuro, their name comes from the trivet they wear, associated with Confucian virtues. Sekien humorously connects them to a story about a forgetful nobleman performing a dance of five virtues. Cat's association with house fire superstitions might explain the flames on their tails. Gozu and Mezu In Japanese Buddhism, Gozu and Mezu are powerful demon generals guarding Hell's gates, appearing as ox-headed and horse-headed oni respectively. They serve Great King Enma, overseeing punishment for the wicked and tasked with retrieving escapees from Hell. Originating from Indian mythology, they represent the chief torturers in Japanese Buddhist folklore. The Gumyocho is a two-headed bird resembling a pheasant, sometimes depicted with human heads. Found in Gokuraku Jodo, the realm of utter paradise, they sing holy scriptures alongside other heavenly birds like swans and peafowl, aiding in achieving enlightenment. Originating in pure land Buddhism, they symbolize the interconnectedness of all beings. Legends tell of two heads, Karuda and Upa Karuda, whose rivalry leads to mutual demise teaching the lesson of interdependence and enlightenment. Gyochu are six-armed yokai, known for spreading gossip and residing in the sex organs, meaning they are sexually transmitted yokai, or STY. They reproduce during the Koshin night, which is a holy night in the Koshin religion every 60 days, reporting their host's sins to Enma Dayo, the king of hell. There's no cure from Gyochu infections, so abstaining from sex on Koshin nights is essential to avoid divine wrath. In modern times, Kyoshu is also a term for pinworms. A Hahakigami is a spirit residing in a broom, often seen sweeping wildly on windy autumn mornings. Originally, brooms were used in purification rituals, making them ideal vessels for spirits. Hahakigami are also believed to provide protection during childbirth and act to ensure guests don't overstay their welcome. Haimushi are tiny moth-like creatures with segmented bodies, four 
colourful and feathery wings. They mainly inhabit the lungs and feed on cooked rice. Their presence can cause health issues, and if they leave their host, it results in the person's death. Treatment involves a traditional remedy called byakujutsu, made from the powdered root of Atractylodes japonica. Hyenu are winged dogs known for their strength and speed, sometimes seen as menacing like wolves, but also capable of loyalty as pets. Originating from Chikugo, Fukuoka, the legend of the Hainu is memorialized in the neighborhood of Hainuzuka, with statues and monuments honoring its tail. Legends vary, portraying Hainu as either evil creatures terrorizing locals until slain by feudal lord Hideyoshi's army, or as loyal companions to Hideyoshi himself, whose death prompted a burial mound to be erected in its honor. Hajikaki are yokai depicted as plump, hairless creatures with round eyes and fangs, often seen covering their heads in embarrassment. They resemble the Chinese xia hyochu, frog-like bugs born from the souls of the embarrassed deceased. Legends suggest encountering them brings a curse of shame, mirroring their own shy nature. Hakanohi are supernatural fires that emerge from graves believed to stem from unresolved worldly attachments or feelings of grudge from the deceased buried there. The Hakutaku is a wise mythical creature resembling a white ox with nine eyes and six horns, residing in remote mountains and appearing only in eras of virtuous leadership. It is considered a symbol of good luck and possesses vast knowledge about yokai and all creation. Legends attribute its origins to Chinese folklore, where it's known as the Bai Ze. Notably, it appeared to the Yellow Emperor in ancient China, revealing insights about 11,520 different yokai preserved in the lost volume called the Hakutaku Zhu. Another legend from Toyama Prefecture recounts a Hakutaku sighting on Mount Tatayama, warning villagers of a plague and providing protection instructions, thus becoming a revered symbol of medicine. Hakuzosu is a folklore tale involving a monk and a kitsune who assumes his identity. Adapted in various versions, the story typically centers around a trapper named Yasaku and a silver-furred kitsune. Disguised as Yasaku's uncle, monk Hakuzosu, the kitsune lectures Yasaku on the sin of trapping foxes. It tricks Yasaku into promising to stop trapping, but later, out of desperation, Yasaku seeks money from his uncle. The kitsune, aware of Yasaku's plan, devours the real monk Hakuzosu and impersonates him for 50 years until its true identity is exposed during a deer hunt. The villagers, fearing its spirit, bury the kitsune and erect a shrine. Hamaguri nyobo are clams that transform into human women to marry men. If the man discovers her true identity, she must return to the sea forever. In one legend, a fisherman spares a giant clam, which then transforms into a woman named Ohama. She becomes his wife, but when he discovers her secret of making delicious soup by urinating into it, she returns to the sea in her true form as the clam. Hanya refers to female demons called Kijo in no theater, which is a traditional Japanese performing art originating from once jealous human women. They are depicted in three grades, Namanari, Chunari, and Honari, each increasing in power and malevolence. The term Hanya also refers to a specific type of demon mask used in no theater. These demons symbolize the opposite of wisdom in Buddhist teachings, despite originating from the Sanskrit term for wisdom. Notable Hanya characters include Lady Rokujo, Kurozuka, and Kiyohime from Japanese literature. Hanzaki are monstrous versions of Japanese giant salamanders, growing larger than normal with rough, mottled skin and enormous mouths. They reside in remote rivers and streams, rarely interacting with humans except when causing trouble by preying on livestock or villagers. The term Hanzaki stems from their regenerative abilities and their call resembling a baby's cry. Legends tell of a brave villager, Mura no Hikoshiro, who slayed a gigantic Hanzaki terrorizing a village. However, his act unleashed a curse, 
leading to mysterious deaths until the creature's spirit was enshrined as Hanzaki Daimyojin, honored during the annual Hanzaki festival in Yubara, Okayama Prefecture. Haradashi is a whimsical yokai known for its ability to transform into various forms, often appearing as a headless torso with a comical face on its belly or as a kind elderly nun. Despite its unusual appearance, Haradashi is not harmful. Instead, it delights in amusing and cheering up others. It frequents sad or lonely individuals, bringing joy through entertaining dancers and antics. Haradashi is particularly drawn to those drinking alone, and its presence brings comfort and a sense of hope to those in need. It often resides in old temples, welcoming and assisting travelers who seek shelter or guidance. Hare Onago, a fearsome yokai, roams Shikoku's roads at night disguised as an ordinary woman with disheveled hair. Each strand of her hair ends in needle-like barbed hooks, which she uses to ensnare and devour young, single men who return her coy smile. Her victims are torn apart, leaving scars on door frames as a warning to avoid picking up strange girls. Hashihimi are jealous goddesses residing in old and lengthy bridges. They are often depicted in white robes with face paint, an iron trivet, and candles for performing curses. They fiercely guard their bridges and curse those who speak well of other bridges or recite certain no plays. Despite their ferocity, they are respected and have shrines dedicated to them. Hashika Doji is a personification of measles in Japanese prints, depicted as a large, muscular boy with red pox marks. Measles has been endemic in Japan for centuries, with numerous epidemics during the Edo period. Images known as hashika-e, used as talismans during outbreaks, became popular for both warding off the disease and providing preventative information. Hashika Doji often appeared in these images, symbolizing the disease being beaten by various industries affected by outbreaks, serving as both a protective charm and satirical commentary. Hekegane are crabs native to Japan, noted for their peculiar shell pattern resembling a scowling samurai mask when viewed from above. Legend attributes this to the enmity of drowned samurai from the Taira clan, also known as the Heike imprinting themselves on these crabs. During the 12th century Genpei War, the Heike suffered a decisive defeat at the Battle of Dan no Ura. The souls of the defeated Heike warriors are said to have become lodged in these crab shells, forming the distinctive pattern. Legends in the Kyoto Kyushu city associate Heikagani with the souls of Heike men, while Heike women are believed to have become kappa. Hiderigami is a small, grotesque humanoid with a single eye, arm, and leg typically found in mountainous regions. Despite their rare encounters with humans, their presence is strongly felt, and they emit intense heat that dries up the land and prevents rain. Originating from southern China, they are believed to be the descendants of a powerful goddess named Batsu, who was exiled to a distant mountain due to her uncontrollable heat. Legend suggests that disposing of a hiderigami in a toilet can kill it. The hihi is a large, monkey-like creature found deep in mountains, recognizable by its long black hair and wide mouth with flapping lips. Legend suggests that old monkeys transform into hihi. They run fast and hunt wild animals, emitting a distinctive laugh when encountering humans. Despite their resemblance to other mountain yukai, hihi are larger and more dangerous. In folklore, they can be subdued by making them laugh and striking their forehead with a sharp spike. Hikeshi Baba, a white-haired old woman, wanders and extinguishes lanterns in homes. While not directly harmful, her actions create a gloomy atmosphere, making conditions favorable for other yukai to emerge and cause mischief. Himamushi Mudu is a creepy yokai resembling a monk with a long neck, sharp claws, and a hairy body living under floorboards. It emerges at night to scare people working or studying late, blowing out lights and lapping up lamp oil. According to legend, it originates from lazy individuals wasting time in life, and its name may reference cockroaches and traditional Japanese ovens. Hinagame are powerful spirits residing in dolls from Toyama Prefecture. 
granting their owners wishes. However, they demand constant requests once a wish is granted. Persisting obsessively until death and even following their creator to the afterlife, to create Hinagami, one must collect grave earth trampled by people for three years, mix it with human blood to form a doll, and have it trampled by a thousand people. Alternatively, one can carve graveyard stones into a thousand dolls, boiling them until only one rises, forming a special type of Hinigami, called a Kochobo. Hino Enma are alluring female yukai who prey on men, draining their life force and wealth. Originating from cautionary tales across East Asia, they embody the dangers of succumbing to worldly desires, especially for monks. The term Hino Enma reflects Buddhist warnings against temptation, likening these women to demons disrupting spiritual growth. Legends like that of Yao Ya Oshichi perpetuate superstitions, particularly regarding women born in the Year of the Fire Horse, believed to bring ruin to their husbands. Hitotsuma Kozo are childlike goblins with one eye known for their mischievous behaviour. They startle people on dark streets but are relatively harmless. Legend has it that on December the 8th they record families' behaviour, determining their fortunes for the next year. They were possibly once mountain deities associated with Enryakuji Temple. Tales describe encounters where they startle or even lick unsuspecting individuals, leaving them paralyzed with fear. Hitotsume Nudo are towering yokai resembling human priests, distinguished by a large single eye in the center of their faces. They travel in grand processions, riding in luxurious palanquins. These malevolent beings roam rural roads, attacking lone travelers with unmatched speed and strength. Legends tell of terrifying encounters with these creatures, with one story recounting how a Hitotsuma Nyodo, believed to be the reincarnation of a strict abbot, punished sinful monks even in death. Honegame are aquatic yukai resembling large turtles with human women's heads. They reside deep in the seas around Japan and rarely surface unless delivering important predictions and prophecies, often warnings of disasters like epidemics or droughts. Their images were believed to have protective powers, with historic records dating back to the Edo period documenting their appearance and prophecies. Honengyo are enigmatic river-dwelling yokai resembling large amphibians or fish, often over two meters long, with weasel-like bodies, snake-like scales, and turtle-like legs. They possess black, spiked dorsal fins and mirror-like eyes. Their sightings, occasionally washing up on riverbanks, are seen as omens of forthcoming prosperity, as illustrated by a famous 1866 sighting along the Yudo River in Osaka. While their natural behavior remains largely unknown, Honengyo sightings have attracted attention for their resemblance to the movie monster Godzilla. Hone Ona are spirits of undying love who maintain their appearance as young, beautiful women to be with their lovers even in death. However, their true form is a decaying corpse. They drain their lover's life force each night, leading to their eventual demise. Despite warnings from others, some lovers remain blind to their Hone Ona's true nature, ultimately sacrificing themselves for love. One famous Hone Ona is Otsuyu from The Tale of the Peony Lantern, a renowned ghost story in Japanese folklore. The Hyaki Yagyo is the terrifying night parade of 100 demons in Japan, led by Nura Rihyon, Nozuchi, and Otoroshi. Humans who witness this spectacle risk being killed or taken by the monsters. To stay safe, one must remain indoors on specific nights associated with the Chinese zodiac and chant a protective spell if the parade passes by. Hyakume adorned with numerous blinking yellow eyes, inhabit old temples, guarding them at night. Shy and elusive, they avoid human contact and deploy detached eyes to survey potential threats. These creatures emerge only at night, relying on their intimidating presence to deter intruders. Hyosube are aggressive humanoid creatures resembling Kappa, but more hostile and prone to mischief. Found mainly in southern and western Japan, they have bald scalps, sharp claws, and greasy, shedding hair covering their bodies. They live near rivers, enjoying mischief and causing trouble for humans. Their contagious laughter 
and fever-inducing gaze make them particularly dangerous, and they have a penchant for targeting eggplant gardens and disrupting human households. Some communities honour them as war gods, while others offer eggplants to appease them and protect their fields.